They set a trap. <laughs> they put it on top. It got me. Yeah, I do make noise. Let's see what we got. Shoes, a lot of Christ. After just coming from the bins, it's hard to pay for shoes. Caribbean Joe, 50% off. Let's we'll see what that is. All right, we're going to continue from the Waynesburg uh, City Mission. And as you can see, so this is uh, another almost $60. And the difference between the bins and a thrift store is really obvious in this video. This is what I ended up with for $60 there compared to, what, four tables from the other place. Uh, the clothing, the shirt, t-shirts are like a buck ninety-nine. Some of them were 50 and 25% off because they do the colors of the week. Uh, the shirt was regular price at $3.99. The DVDs were $1.99, the games $2.99, and the glasses, I got uh, those, they were 50% off on all of them, so they were all either 50, 25 cents or 50 cents. And let me show you what we got here. Uh, the jeans don't count, again, those are mine, to drop down another size before my next chemo. Uh, I'd bought these because I hadn't seen them before. It's Secret Service stemware. I got a set of four of them. And then these because I liked it. A uh, little faded, but it's the Coke with the Bear. Always cool. Uh, doesn't say any McDonald's or Burger King or anything like that, so I'm not quite sure where they're from. Uh, again, I always get the Caribbean Joe, Hawaii-type shirts, Caribbean-type shirts. They sell very well. Uh, picked up this Jurassic Park one even though it's fairly new just because it's kind of a nice uh, graphics nice hits on there so had to do it um, same with the G.I. Joe one and that one was mainly you know it's almost like an all over on the front and even on the back you have like the blacked out design I don't know if it's showing up or not but really nice all over and for 
25% off or 50% off, less than a, two bucks, you can't beat it. And then this one was Watkins Glen International Raceway. As you can see the uh, road course there. As I said, the games were a lot more expensive than the 20 cents we pay at the bins, but they're all in fantastic shape. And I'm gonna do a lot of packages and some of these I don't have, so just had to do them. And I've been doing good with the uh, PC games also. Picked up two hats, paid more for those hats, one hat, than I did for all 11 of the other ones, but we'll see how they sell. This interested me. It's a Paul Mitchell cutting system. They put a price on the back of $700, and I think it's like a book, this, and something else. But I'm sure out there, you know, I paid a buck for it, a buck 99. I'm sure I can get my money back for a sealed one from a hairdresser, cosmetologist, or even a teacher at the school. Picked up a couple of these uh, real estate ones just to see how they do. Uh, some DVDs that were scanning pretty good. Another real estate and another real estate. All right, we'll try to pick this up again. I put a new battery in. And last but not least is this Red Bull bar mat or whatever it is. Uh, I think I paid three bucks for it. I'm sure I can do a little better than that. All right, well, that wraps up the uh, city mission in Wentworth. And uh, hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later.